So the only thing you might need to now create right now is the different states, okay? So now we can decide to, uh, you know, show different screen to show when the person entered something. So right now I can select this field now, okay? Select this field, make sure you double click. And instead of default, I want to tell you that it should go to active states. So active states right there and activate the right icon. Now this right icon, I want to, instead of enter your email, I'm just going to put in maybe something say, and, and also the user input, I'm going to say maybe something like wheels, wheels at, so wheels at designgate.com. All right, so enter. So we want to activate, I want to indicate that the person has actually entered their email. So let's go ahead and change this eye icon to uh, just type in check. You should have that uh, good right here. So click on it, good. And then for password now, now we can call this user input, email, email, correct, okay. So you can see, we can use this to show the developers how this should be once the person enters the correct email address. And there's another thing I noticed that we forgot to uncheck, right? So all these fields right here, we have to select them and indicate that there is no user input. So select that form, let's indicate user input off, okay? So we just have to come and retype these things. So enter your full name okay so i want to select this as well i want to use user input off so here should be enter your email so i want to just you know I want to just make sure everything is okay so user input off so here enter your password okay and here, the same thing, user input off, and then confirm your password. So it won't take much time, just uh, just do this simple corrections. So, okay, I can just copy this, Control A, Control C, turn this off, paste it back in, okay? Paste it back in. Okay, uh, make sure you select the form. Okay, uh, copy this, copy this, turn this off, paste it back in, Control V, okay. And voila, we're done. Okay, select this, enter your email, enter your email, okay, not enter your full email, enter your email. Control A, Control X, Control C, deactivate that, paste it in there. Because we just want that grayed out version, okay? So right here now, we have indicated that, okay, this person actually entered their email address, okay, correct? So we can duplicate this now, and we put in email and password, email and password. Okay, so we type in email and password, and also under this password now, we can decide to indicate that yes, they've entered their password now. Okay, let's enter the asterisk there. Okay, for the password field, and then we can actually also set the the type instead of default to active. Okay. So we can actually see that both this and the type, they are active and the person can actually log in, okay? Now let's assume the person didn't, you know, type in the correct email, uh, the correct password. Let's show what happens. Control D and this password field, we are going to change it to error. And then we also want to activate uh, feedback. And for this feedback, can now say password is incorrect. Okay, so you can see because we've created all these states, 
it's easy for us now to start manipulating them, okay? So basically, this is what you want to do in order to show uh, some of the error states and also some of the different states of this particular form. Now, we can also come here on our password recovery and do duplicate. And we want to select that there. And we want to choose the error states, okay? Remember, we added some auto frames, so you have to make sure you click until you select that particular one. So we want to change the states and to error. And then we want to activate the feedback right there. So extras, we only want, let's hide in password. Let's uh, type in this email does not exist. Okay. This email does not exist. So in case the person types in the wrong email. So remember, if we want to show the view that the email is correct, we can just do control D and email. Let's type in email, recovery email, incorrect, recovery email, incorrect. Okay, so recovery email correct. You can see basically what we're doing is changing things. Recovery email correct, we come here, select this, and choose our active states, okay? And then we want to also put in the right icon right there, and we want to also select user input. Yes, user has entered input. And for this, we also want to go and choose our check, okay? Just type in check. And then, here we want to type in i don't want to be editing direct so let's just edit from here okay instead of enter email we can now enter email we use at at designgate.com okay so you can see we've actually done for the email so once the email is correct the person can you know request for the password reset when the email is not correct, the person will get this uh, feedback right here. The same thing we have, we want here, okay? So we've also done for all these the states, email correct, email and password. Now we can actually do another state, okay? If the person wants to view their password, control D, password view, password view. So let's assume in the person typed in and it says incorrect and the person decides to see their password. Okay. What we can do is come in here and we want to change this eye icon to the normal eye instead of eye off. And instead of this, sorry, choose this back. Sorry. Uh, double click, okay, double click. Now we want to go ahead, instead of this asterisk, we want to go ahead and maybe say wheels 2020 dollar dollar, okay? So we are actually showing the person viewing their password right here. So you can see the icon have changed, okay? So this is, uh, these are the basic screen we are going to have for our sign up, sign in and our password recovery, okay? So this is basically what we're going to have right now. So the next thing I want us to do, uh, so there's a graphics I added to you there. You can bring in that graphics now and then just drop it here. And then I want you to align it to the top and also to the left. So right now, this is what we have for this particular screen. So let me select everything here. So let's select everything from sign up. Okay. And let's drop it under this particular screen. Okay. So, so basically this is what we have and I want us to do some arrangements here. So let's select, let's select all this screen. So let's do some proper arrangements here. Let's select this and uh, let's select all this screen here. Let's put a proper space in between them. Okay. 
the uniform spacing because we want to make sure everything is done properly. So let's go ahead and uh, tidy up. Let's select tidy up. Now for our tidy up, the spacing between, let's just put 100 right there. Okay, 100. Okay, so let me select this. And let's select this as well. Let's bring them to the bottom. Okay, okay, great. So the same thing, you want to move this right here. Okay, and move this right here. Okay, so we have it. Let's select one, two, three. I think they're at the bottom as well. Okay, so basically we're just trying to organize things a little bit to be a little bit better. Okay, okay, what I think I should do is I'll move this here. And then I'll bring this down as well. Okay. Okay, so we have these screens right here. So this is basically how to create your login flow. So once you're here, congratulations, you've actually created uh, your first uh, full on screen. And I think, okay, there's something we are missing before we go. All this background, okay, all this background here, let's go ahead and give them that gradient feel. All the background, okay, that's the background right there. Let's go ahead and give them those gradients, few light gradients. Okay, we want to also select this uh, background. We want to go ahead and choose light gradients. Okay, select this. We want to go to background and we want to go to light gradients. Okay, now the best way to actually select it is from your layer panel, select it and then select light gradient. Okay, select password view, go to background. And you want to choose light gradient. Okay, select password recovery as well. Uh, background, okay, light gradient. Select the email mm -hmm. recovery as well. Go to background. And you also want to choose light gradient. Select recovery, okay. You want to go to background and you want to change the style to light gradient, okay. Now for our sign up, let's just create one error state, control D. Okay. Remember that we're using 100. Let's move this. Okay. Okay. Let's just create one error state. And that error state should be for password, this retype password. So this retype password, let's choose error. And then let's activate um, extras and the extras. Not forgot password. We're not looking at forgot password, just the feedback. So let's type in password does not match. Okay, so let's use this. Okay, so so if you are here, congratulations. What I want you to do now is to take time to actually rewatch this video and try replicating some of these things to better understand what we've just done so far. See you in the next class.